It's been all doom and gloom for Rangers Football Club, but Yanis, the destroyer Haji, is back. And it's great, but it would also be great if you would click that join button. Yanis Haji's joined back up with the first team squad. Well, how about you join up with the big Stevie Cool squad? Oh, -ho! channel legend status, all that good stuff. I can't even remember what the price is, but you know what? You can't put a price on happiness. And for that reason, you click the button, you pay your bloody money for more content, exclusive content, all that good stuff. And yeah, I'm a happy man. Only a few members so far. We've been running for a few months, but you know what? We're building. We're building something. I'm not going to beg. I'm not going to get down on my hands and knees and beg for likes and all that good stuff. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to earn it with the content because that's what I do, damn it. But let's move in to Yanis Hadji, shall we? He's back training with the first team squad. There was a, a news piece out from Romanian journalists saying, well, he's going to have to get a move if he wants to get called up to the next Romanian national squad, which obviously, with the Scotland squad being announced today, has to be imminent. And it is, because they've obviously been able to talk about this and get it sorted. And I've been positive for the first 71 seconds of this video, but I'm going to turn it into a negative, all right? Guy's not in the European squad. And for me... Before we talk about the positives of this manoeuvre, because it is, it is going to feel like a new signing for me, it's like, why not try and get this sorted before you announce the squad for, for Europe? And I think that's stupid, man, this whole, oh, you announce the squad for Europe and that's you until the, the start of February. I mean, February is years away at this point. This See, see, come February, man, we'll probably have a new manager, maybe, and you never know what the league's going to look like. You never know what the cup situation's going to look like. You never know what Europe, you might not even be in Europe at that stage. I don't like that for the whole European squad, but at the end of the day, we have to abide by UEFA's rules. And uh, this should have been sorted, man. See, as soon as this transfer window was getting towards the end and it was getting abundantly clear that Yanis Hadji was not going to leave this football club, Philip Clement needed to go to the Rangers board and went, right, we're not getting rid of him. Uh, the money's obviously drying up because the incomings are not exactly, you know, coming in in their drones. So what we need to do is, is get Yanis Hadji to agree some form of deal if you aren't willing to pay the pay rise and hopefully, you know, Go over something, get the tip exit, and be like, right, here's the new fee, bring him in, sort it out, and be able to include him, because let's not make no mistake about it, I think Yanis Hadji walks straight into this Rangers team, I, I think he does, I mean, he's an international, he was pretty good in the Euros, it's not his fault what happened to him, man, in 2021 December, I believe it was against St Johnston, he picked up an injury, right, and it, it put him on the shelves for 12 months, and then after that even, it was so slow, and then he's had... The, the loan out to Dorpe Deportivo, Alves, whatever they're called, he's came back and now he's been frozen out. And I think it's so unfair because the last great period of this Rangers team during 55, right, Yanis Hadji was a part of that. And see, up until December of 2021, we were top of the league. We were the best team in Scotland. We were leading the league. Ever since this, this guy's never lost an old firm. And we're, and we're trying to pretend, rewrite history and pretend this guy's awful. I'm not saying, man, you put Yanis Hadji into the starting 11, right? And we're going to go for, you know, what appears to be light years behind Celtic and we're going to, you know, do a Buzz Lightyear and to infinity and beyond and blast past him. But I think Yanis Hadji improves that team. Tom Lawrence not going to bury the guy too much, right? He scored the goal against Dundee United. He won us the game against Hibs. But he doesn't have the legs anymore. And I think... Being able to have Hadji to start games or at least compete against Lawrence for that number 10 spot is the way to go. But when you look at Clement, he's clearly got his favourites. You've seen that he doesn't really like Raskin. And just because Hadji's back in the first team doesn't automatically mean he's going to be straight in starting games. And yeah, he might appear on the bench, but it doesn't mean he's going to come on. So we're going to have to see um, against St. Johnston how, how that looks. Because obviously, like I've touched on, he's not going to be in the European squad. So you can say goodbye to Leon at the end of the day, but he has to get given a chance, right? They need to put whatever bad blood there is. I mean, I've said this before. I mean, I'm not going to be pretend I'm Albert Einstein. I think it's more that Rangers just didn't want to pay the increase rather than Clement didn't fancy Hadji. And if that's the case, that's a good thing for us now because Clement is free to play him. Hadji's free to play. And you know what? He's a good, he's a good footballer, man. And, He's proven time and time again for Rangers. I mean, look, you get the game against Hibs, where he came on the game against Braga. He, he was he got like double digit goals and assists during the title fifty five season, and that has to be you know that that has to be worth something this day and age. You, you look at the Rangers team, man. It's like 
Who's producing those sort of stats these days for us? We don't score many goals. We've only scored 10 goals in our first six league games. Any goals and assists that can get fired into this squad is gratefully needed. So anyway, guys, your thoughts down below. Yanis Hadji's back. Till next time, peace.